Hi there, welcome to Tech Center. This is Josh and I'm going to introduce you to use shapes, stickers and textures in Paint 3D. If you want to watch a full tutorial on Paint 3D, I've put a link in the description box below so you can watch the video. Before we jump into the video, please subscribe and click the notification bell to receive future videos from my channel. If you haven't already watched my previous video about using the brush tool and the line tool in Paint 3D, I've put a link in the description box below so you can watch the video. Now I'm going to introduce you to use shapes, stickers and textures in Paint 3D. First of all, I'm going to open Paint 3D from the Windows Programs list. Click Start and then on Paint 3D. Now that Paint 3D is open, I'm going to open a new blank project by clicking on New. I'm going to click on it. Now that a new canvas is open, I'm going to start drawing the rest of the 2D shapes. I'm going to start with a circle. I'm going to left click and drag to draw the circle. You can see that we can adjust its shape and size by clicking and dragging. I'm going to change it to this size. Now that I've let go of left click, you can see the outline box around the circle. We can adjust the width and height by using the grip points. We can also change the color by going to the sidebar and going to the fill section and then clicking on none, then clicking on solid. You can see that the shape has been filled in with grey. We can change the colour by clicking on the colour. And then we can click on a colour from the colour palette or from the custom colours. I'm going to click on gold. Now I'm going to change the colour of the line. I'm going to change it to blue. You can see that the colour of the line has been changed to blue. We can also remove the line by going to solid and then clicking on none. You can see that there is no more line for the shape. I want the outline so I'm going to click on none then I'm going to click on solid. So the inside is filled with gold and the outline is blue. I'm satisfied with this shape. If I want I can stamp it or I can commit. If I want to I can also rotate the shape by using the rotation handle. To use the rotation handle, left click and drag. I'm going to make the shape this position. And I'm going to click and drag to move it across the canvas. Now I'm going to click on commit. I'm going to move on to the next shape, which is the square. I'm going to left click and drag. You can see that the fill colour and the outline colour are the same as the previous shape. This is because it has kept the properties of the previous shape. I'm going to start by rotating this shape by using the rotation handle. I'm going to rotate it and I'm going to stamp it. We can change its colour by clicking on fill and then on the colour. I'm going to change it to orange. I'm going to change the line to black and I'm going to rotate it again. I'm going to stamp it and then if I rotate it one more time I'm going to click on commit. Now I'm going to start drawing the other shapes. I'm going to click on the hexagon and I'm going to left click and drag. You can see that the colours of the line and the insides are the same as the previous shape because it keeps the properties of the previous shape. We can also adjust its width and height by using its grip points on the outline box. I'm going to change it to this shape. I'm going to left click and drag to move it to this side of the canvas. I'm going to change the fill colour to white. 
Now let me change the outline color of this shape. To do that I have to click on the color button. Then I have to select the color dark blue. I'm going to click on stamp to stamp the shape on the canvas. You can see that it has been stamped on the canvas. Now I'm going to rotate this shape by a few degrees. Now I'm going to move it to this side of the canvas and then I'm going to click on commit. Now I'm going to move on to the star shape. I'm going to click on the five point star. I'm going to left click and drag to create the star. You can see that it has kept the same properties as the previous shape. I'm going to change its fill color to red and I'm going to change its line color or its outline color to green. I can rotate it as well so I'm going to rotate it like this and I'm going to stamp it. I'm going to rotate it one more time and I'm going to click on commit. Now I have shown you how to draw the shapes on the canvas. In the same way, you can use the other shapes and draw them on the canvas in the same way. I'm going to move on to the stickers tool because I'm done with the 2D shapes. When we click on the stickers tool, you can see that it opens up a sidebar with three tabs. So the first tab is for stickers, the second tab is for textures and the third tab is for personal stickers. I'm going to introduce you to the stickers and the textures. I'm going to start off with the stickers by clicking on the stickers tab. I'm going to select the cloud and I'm going to left click and drag. You can see that the cloud is now on the canvas. I can rotate the shape by using the rotation handle. I'm going to left click and drag on the rotation handle. I'm going to make it like this. And I'm going to stamp it. You can see that the sticker has been stamped on the canvas. I can also adjust its size by using the grip points on the outline box. I'm going to left click and drag to change its size. And I'm going to click on commit. I'm going to choose the sun sticker and I'm going to left click and drag to create it. You can see that the sun sticker is over in here in the middle. I'm going to rotate it right and I'm going to stamp it. We can also adjust its size like I said before with the cloud. So we can adjust it with any of the grip points in the outline box. I'm going to move it over here and I'm going to click on commit. Now I'm going to select planet sticker and I'm going to left click and drag. I'm going to adjust its size, I'm going to rotate it and I can also change its opacity so that's how transparent it is. I'm going to left click and drag and I'm going to make it 50% opaque. That makes it less visible. I'm going to click on commit. In the same way you can use the other stickers from this sidebar. I'm going to move on to the textures. If I click on the textures tab you can see that there are eight textures. So I'm going to start off by using the bark texture. I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to left click and drag to draw the texture. You can see the texture of bark. I can adjust the size, the width and height of this texture by using the grip points. I can stamp it. I can commit it. I can rotate it. I can also change its opacity. I'm going to make it slightly transparent. I'm going to move it to 75% and I'm going to move it on top of the star. If I stamp it, you can see that 
the star has a bark effect, like it's broken. If I do that with another sh with the other star, I'm going to make it more transparent by clicking and dragging on this slide bar. I'm also going to change the width and height of this texture by using the grip points. And this time I'm going to click on commit. I'm going to move on to the wood texture. I'm going to left click and drag to draw the texture. And I'm going to change its transparency by using the slide bar by clicking and dragging. Now it is opaque and I'm going to move it on top of this cloud. And I'm going to change the size of the texture by left clicking and dragging on these grip points. I'm going to stamp the texture on the canvas. You can see that the texture is on top of the cloud. I'm going to make it slightly more opaque. And I'm going to stamp it on top of this sun. Now if I just commit it on top of this cloud. In the same way you can use the textures in the sidebar as the textures that I've just shown you. Menu. Save. I'm going to click on this piece and then on documents. I'm going to call this file sample file 2. I'm going to click on save. Now that I've saved the file, I'm going to close Paint 3D. In my future videos, I'll be posting tutorials on Paint 3D and how to make games in Python. I hope that this video is helpful for you. If you like this video, please smash that like button and share it to your friends and family. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please click the red subscribe button below so you can watch the video. If you have any questions or comments about this video, or if you'd like to get links to all of my previous videos, please contact me via email at 4 at gmail.com. I've put a link in the description box below. See you in the next video!